Thank you, Judge. I, I mentioned in my opening remarks that the court has played a vital role constrained within its proper constitutional boundaries in the national process of making America in real life what America is in text. And reflecting on your experience as a public defender, a vital role in our justice system, let's talk a little bit about the Sixth Amendment and the role that the court played in ensuring that the Sixth Amendment is real in practice in the Gideon v. Wainwright decision. Can you uh, help all those who are tuned in right now to reflect upon that decision, what it means, what it says about the role of the court? Yes, Senator. Um, prior to Gideon versus Wainwright, people who could not afford lawyers were not entitled to lawyers under our system. So a person could be accused by the government of criminal behavior and would have to fend for themselves in court. They would have to make their own arguments. Someone who is not a lawyer would still be responsible for defending him or herself in front of a judge if the government brought charges. Earl Gideon was a criminal defendant from Florida, my home state, who had a handwritten petition. He complained that it wasn't fair under our constitutional scheme that protects and requires people to be tried. He said, I need help. I'm not a lawyer. I can't make these arguments. I think it's important for uh, uh, the protection of liberty to ensure that people are able to have counsel. And that handwritten petition made its way to the Supreme Court. And the justices read it, and they determined to take his case, and in the end decided that the protections of the Sixth Amendment, the right to trial, includes the right to appointed counsel so that everybody who is uh, accused of criminal behavior now has the right to an attorney. And that's very important. I mean, one of the things that I see or saw as a trial judge is that it was crucial for our justice system to have representation from both sides. It was the only way that a judge, it is the only way that a judge can really make fair determinations. And in cases, in, you know, we've heard a lot about my criminal cases. In every case, I'm getting, as a judge, arguments from the prosecution. I'm getting arguments from the defense counsel. I'm getting arguments or statements from probation in these criminal cases. And the work of a judge is to look at the facts and circumstances, hear the arguments of the parties, apply the law, and make a fair determination. And so having lawyers for criminal defendants aids in that process and benefits us all in our criminal justice system. I would just take the opportunity to note at this time, Judge Jackson, that it, it so happens that the Southern District of Georgia is one of just three federal districts without a federal defender's office. And I've offered legislation to establish one, and I'll be seeking support from my Republican colleagues to try to make that bipartisan to ensure there is access to counsel for defendants in my state. 